Robin Williams is the world's greatest actor slash comedian. Hitting the stand-up clubs after graduating from the Juilliard School of Performing Arts, his big break came playing the hilarious alien Mork after doing the audition standing on his head. The Academy Award winners since gone on to make a swag of hit films like Good Morning Vietnam, Mrs. Doubtfire and Good Will Hunting. Now Robin's early stand-up roots are out and proud with the Australian premiere DVD release of his classic 1982 stand-up show, Robin Williams, live and uncensored. Come on, Tommy, let's go see the chimps. This is you take Tommy to the front of the chimp cage. The little chimp up front goes... Let's go, son. Why, Dad? I've seen you do that. Rose travelled all the way to L.A. to chat to Robin. I'm still doing the library, my God. I know, isn't it? It's all a bit... In the age of Twitter to be in a place of books. Is it all too? Yeah. Look, son, this is what we call the extended Twitter. These are how people used to tell people what they did. If Shakespeare could Twitter, to be or that's it. Well, you look very sprightly. Great, thank you. I've never been called sprightly before. Yes, you have, sure. Hello, sprightly. Hello, sprightly. You remember my boy, sprightly. Get in here, sprightly. Sprightly, bring me another lemonade. <laughs> yes, sir. And how are you feeling? Because you're... That's better now, thank you. Because you're not far removed from heart surgery. Not far removed, four months removed. You know, it was interesting. Um, it's been kind of nice to, to know that it's working, number one. <laughs> number two, that... Uh, after I had the surgery, and you know, they replaced a valve, but I thought maybe, because I've been so emotional, they gave me a tiny vagina. <laughs> because the emotions are just like, oh, but that's open heart surgery, especially for guys. So you're finding yourself more emotional, is that what's oh, happening? thanks for asking. <laughs> I myself emotional and cleaning a lot. So what does it actually do, apart from obviously, because it is barbaric, they rip your chest open. But, yeah, then yeah. but they medicate you first. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, real man can take it. What are you doing now? Bite into this pencil. Yeah, at least buy me a dinner. <laughs> yeah, it is, um, what do they do? They knock you out and then they, uh, they put you on the, the heart machine because you, they have to stop your heart. They can't be, slow down, damn it. <laughs> you don't operate while it's moving. And then they replace the valve. Uh, they gave me choices. I had a choice between a porcine, which is pig, Mm -hmm. Which is great because you can find truffles. Um, <laughs> mechanical, and I was hoping for the new iHeart. But uh, and bovine, which is wonderful. Oh, right. Yes. So it's almost like being on a plane, steak, chicken, or fish. Yeah, that's either that's way. And, and then lovely white wine. <laughs> and the weird thing after getting a bovine valve is I can't eat meat because it's almost like you start eating. It's like that's one of us. You're one of us now. You can't do this. <laughs> no, I'm taking Viagra after heart surgery. It's like a Civil War reenactment in a wheelchair. You know, it's basically that's that's, <laughs> that's a nice little game of Russian roulette you yeah, play. Is that? That? You're right, playing Russian with level with a shotgun. <laughs> Good luck, thank you. But what a shotgun now once you pop the Viagra. Well, I'll tell you that, my friend. Hey. Uh, small but fierce, hey. like a Tasmanian hey. devil. You hear that, Petey? <laughs> oh, is it Petey now? Yeah, no, we'll call it Sprightly. No, it's Sprightly. Sprightly McDuff. <laughs> what are you doing? That sounds like a great porn name. Well, you know, Sprightly. See, Sprightly's a good porn name because it doesn't necessarily guarantee it's going to be great. No. At least fun. But fun. Sprightly makes it think that something <laughs> elvish will happen. Yes. You know, rather than dildo baggins. <laughs> What it is, you say, what is that? A penis? <laughs> so we think of other names, the really macho guys. What, what do you call it? That's the incredible heat seeking moisture missile. Well, I heard you got up and did stand up, was the first thing you did. I did it, not the first thing, yeah, but seriously. I took about a month off and, and, and put some pants on would have been nice. Yeah, nice to be, nice to be here, obviously. <laughs> but it was, uh, I did it about a month after the surgery, and I did like 20 minutes and went, a little soon. And now I've been back doing it after three or four months, and it's been good to do the hour and a half. It's been good. And you're, you're about to tour again? Got to. Yeah, got to go back out and pay for the surgery. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm, I, I go back out at the end of September. Will, will, will you come down to Australia with us? I hope so, one day. So. I, I think it'll work there. You speak the same language. We uh, do. I know. It's, it's, uh, it's separated by an ocean and, and, and some would say cultures. But that's all right, you know. I, I hope to make it down there because there's a lot to talk about, obviously, with our new Obama. Yep. Oh, we oh, love the him. Irish. I know you do. You, you, apparently, he's, he's going to save the planet. We're all so thankful. I think so. <laughs> it is a great thing. And I don't know why I'm talking like this right now. He's black Irish. He's an Obama. He's a great man. Now, you be careful because you're, you're coming off sounding a bit Susan Boyle in this whole... No, 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 but that what was basically happening? a joke. What is a going joke about on? That. There was a joke, there was a thing on the internet saying, if they made a movie about Susan Boyle, who should play her? And obviously, because I did Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah. They were, I went, great, thank you. I sing the songs that make it now. And it was like, I loved the other side of her. It was that time when she got drunk and was sitting in the pub going, yeah, you've got no talent. <laughs> you don't know anything. <laughs> You've got no talent. But, you know, no, it's a joke. 
God bless. But now you've got one of your old stand-up shows. Yes, one of your, very one of your old. Very so I don't remember. <laughs> 1982. Oh, I have the dawn of time, sir. But one of those great specials. It was good to see it back. It was up there with, with uh, your show at the Met, which I thought oh, the was show one of the, the best was a blast. ones. The yeah, best that was really shows fun. Ever. When we did it at the Met, it was fun because the Metropolitan Opera had never had stand-up comedy. And they have all these wonderful old Irish usherettes who are going, Oh, dear God, it's pornography. <laughs> and at the same place at Pavarotti, and I'm doing basically penis jokes, and they're like, Oh, no, oh, dear God. Let's give you a very special picture. <laughs> Boys, I'm glad you had the old wide-angle lens on there. <laughs> Uh, it's now time for what we call your public probe. This is five questions. Public probe. Public probe. probe. Non-invasive. No. Are you ready? After. Yes. Let's do this. Are you ready to play? Yes. Manuel, are you happy to be here? Yes, look how hairy I am. Stop it. What did, you do? What did we do last night? You remember. Okay. Here we go. This is from Heather in Queensland. What's your favourite accent? It has to be Scottish just because you can say anything on that. It's just, you know, brace yourself. <laughs> and that's Scottish foreplay. But I think it is the idea that it just works everywhere. Because it, it can be so soothing. Yet so aggressive! Either way! <laughs> you can do both. And then probably during the moment of... <laughs> oh, dear. God, you're good! <laughs> You've made me feel like a man again. <laughs> oh, bro. Uh, from Andrew in the ACT, what's the biggest advantage to being hairy? The biggest advantage to being hairy is, number one, you have nat natural bug protection. Uh -huh. uh, this, I've seen mosquitoes take their own life. And the thing about being hairy, you, you, you are warm at all times. Yes. But then you have people saying, don't wear fur, and I'm going, I am fur. <laughs> there is that weird thing of, you know, the pros and cons. I've actually once had two women that had to, they had to wax my back for a movie, and at one point they said, do you mind if we take a break? <laughs> I felt like going, nobody knows the back hair I've seen. But it's, it's pretty crazy. And from Kristen in Western Australia, what's the best advice you've ever been given? It was actually from Betty Davis years ago, and she said, learn to say no. Because in this business, they'll offer you things, but learn to say no. And the way she said it, they'd say it like, uh, no. And it was like, oh, yeah, that was... Is cool. that how you say it every time? Yeah, no. Can you do this gig? Yeah, no. <laughs> and learn when to say no, I think, is even more important. Yeah, uh, and no with a Scottish accent. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, sprightly. No, sir. We've done that too many times. <laughs> no. And me with a horse valve. <laughs> no. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you, Mr. Rowe. It's been a real pleasure. Ditto. What fun. Thank you. Did dildo. You get dildo. Oh, dildo. Sorry. <laughs> dildo. Dildo. It's a new French bread. We make it only with dill. It's called dildo. A great, lovely, loving baguette. It rises on its own thanks to the dildo. We'll be right back. We'll be here talking with Julia Childs, who says it's hotter than a stiff cock in here. Good luck. Take care. I have no idea what You think you got it on the number four to five? That's crazy. You can find Robin Williams live and uncensored in-store September 9. A great viewing even all these decades later. Back soon. Don't go anywhere.